In this video, we're going to look at electrostatic force. We're going to cover electrostatic force and what electrostatic force is, when an object is charged, the interactions between charged objects, and how an object becomes charged. Electrostatic force is another example of a non-contact force, and it can exert either a push or a pull over its field of influence. The push we say is repulsion, so it repels an object, and the pull is when it attracts an object or attraction. Sometimes people refer to electrostatic force as static electricity. This is because electrostatic force is actually caused by objects that are electrically charged and how they exert force on each other from their charges. All objects contain both positive and negatively charged particles inside them. If an object has the same amount of positive char charges and negative charges, we say that that object is neutral. In this example, this box has three negative charges and three positive charges, so therefore it is neutral. However, if the amount of charges isn't balanced, so there's more of one charge than another, we call that object charged. On the left hand side we have an object that has four negative charges and two positive charges, so it is a negatively charged particle because there are more negative charges. And on the right hand side we have an object that has more positively charged particles. We have four positive particles and two negative particles, so therefore we call this object positively charged. Similar to magnets where the north and south attract and the north and north repel, electrostatic charge opposites attract and like repels like. So if we've got our two objects that are different from each other, like in this example, we've got a negative and a positive, they are going to attract each other because they're opposite. And conversely, if you have two of the same things, they will repel each other. So a negative will repel a negative, and a positive will repel a positive. Next we're going to look at how objects end up becoming charged and having different amounts of positive and negatively charged particles in them. What happens is when two objects are rubbed against each other, the friction from the rubbing causes the negative particles to jump from one object to another because the negative particles are sticky and can move around between objects. So in this case we have two objects that are both neutral because they have what three positively charged particles and three negatively charged particles, so two neutral objects. And after rubbing them together, the negative particle from the left hand side object has jumped over to the right hand side object. This causes the left hand side object to have three positives and two negatives, leaving it positively charged, and the right hand object to have three positive charges and four negatively charges, giving it an overall negative charge. This means that now these two objects are charged, they will attract each other. In this video we've looked at electrostatic force, charged objects, and when they're charged, so an imbalance of the charges in them, causing them to either be positively or negatively charged, the interactions between charged objects with opposites attracting and like repelling like, and how an object becomes charged. The friction of rubbing them together causes the negatively charged particles to jump from one object to another.